And we're back. We're back, we're back. Game got kind of weird and freezed up, and so we had to redo the last battle, but we had basically the exact same outcome. Yep, same results. Almost to a T. Same uh, renown, same promotions. Same person went down, Ivor, because he drew so much fire. He did exactly what we needed him to do. Okay, so there are more dredge in the distance. Should we keep watch or head back? Oh, jeez. No, he's, we gotta... he's doing one more check of the area. Yeah, I think we need... No, we gotta save as many people as we can. So head back. So I think we gotta keep watch. Keep watch. Just to make sure. While he goes and does his shit. Yeah. Keep watch. We just turn to head back, a colossus appears. As... It suddenly looms over a let. <laughs> its face is, ex is an expressionless, stony mask. More terrifying than any roar it may have produced. Time seems slow as it pulls back its enormous mace. Oh, God. Uh, uh, this is one of those moments where it's like, which is right? Not run. That's a waste of time. That's a stupid idea. Just shoot at it with an arrow. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Bam! As though second nature, you knock an arrow. A lead is standing directly <laughs> between you and the dredge, masking the shot. Oh, man. Uh, Stop thinking. <laughs> Stop thinking to the dredge! <laughs> God damn it, this game. Why you gotta be like that? You let go. Endure the pain more. A second passes like an eternity. <sighs> the arrow bounces off the dredge's face, inches away from what you think is its eye. It recoils and turns upon Alette again. Eagle rushes to her side. Ivor throws himself between them, catching the mace on his shield and returns the favor, crushing the dredge's head with its shield point. <laughs> when the dust settles and you can see, everyone is all right. Okay, thank God. <sighs> <sighs> Let's get out of here. Says Ivor. I got nothing. Uh, heroes? Yeah, let's do that. That was a tense moment. That's an example of how they... Yep manipulate time in the game is with those menus. Stupid menus. Alright, he's injured for three days, so he'll be operating at minus three strength. Okay. For a couple days. Should we promote? Uh, we've got 19 renown. Why not? It only costs five. Okay, yeah, let's do it. We also gotta keep in mind that we need some supplies, too. Yeah. Um... I think we can stand up his armor a little bit. Uh, yeah, he is a shield bearer, so. Yeah. And then we got one more. Do you want to up his strength, or do you want to up his armor again? Let's do his strength. Okay. Balance it out. Sounds like a pram. Confirm. Do it. Uh, and then we've got a let. Yes. Delightful. Hmm, she could use both, too. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. We've damn, been using her more damn. as a finisher. Yep. There we go. I'm happy. Cool. Poor Ivor. It'll be fine. Let's go talk to him. Oh. Oh, yep, there it is. There it is. I was like, did we miss our chance? We can also stand to go to the market. You find anyone? A few. Sent them inside. Gods, this is bad. I'm out of practice, Rook. For as long as I've known you, you've always wormed your way out of talking about dredge. This would be the time to start talking. I can tell you they re rarely stop for rest. The sooner we leave, the better. They'll, uh, they'll follow us until we're tripping over tired women and children. Then they'll attack. Even after we've wiped out, they'll keep coming, trampling corpses in their wake. There's no end to them. How did anyone survive the Great Wars? Ask the Menders. I wasn't there. But I know you fought your fair share. Yeah, I've killed enough slag for one lifetime. That's why you're gonna save us now! Don't lay that on me. Come on, let's get inside. No. Pow, pow! Uh, do you wanna go to the market? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because we need some... supplies. Man, they always have really good items all the time. They're always <laughs> random. But, I mean, who the heck couldn't afford a... Freaking five statue of a sightless man. 
temporarily blinds their enemies? Wow. That ups your dodge strength too. That's pretty awesome. Um, what's Bale's locket? Willpower? It's not bad. This does another will unrest. It's pretty good. We can't afford will unrest. any of this right now. Do we want to get more supplies though? Yeah. Okay. Is that what this is for? Yep. And that'll leave us with six renown, which will be enough to promote either Rook or Ivor if they gain enough experience. Okay, should we do that then? I think so. Cool. We got 26 days worth though. All right. I don't think we can afford to get any of that stuff. 36 is a lot. That's how many resources they have, yeah. Or supplies, rather. No, over here. Yeah. That's what, that's so, that's what it's drawing from. Like, that's what it took. Mm-mm. Uh, if you look at, if you add plus up at the top. Oh, no. now gets three days worth of supplies, and then there's 36 total available supplies. So there are times when you go to a town, and they're like, huh, we only have, like, ten available supplies. So, kind of get screwed, and then we got another Can we see everyone? Yup. Thank the gods you made it. That is a sweet ass face tattoo. It is awesome. I dig it. Great Hall is an utter den, filled as it is with dozens of terrified families. Don't stop worrying yet. I have it. One of the deaths is going on. Dredge milling around, ransacking houses. <laughs> what shit? Chief's wife finds you, pushing through the crowd. She's awesome. I leave. They must know we're here. Why haven't they attacked? Don't know. Wouldn't expect it to last made some decisions, but tell me straight, what would you both do in my place? I'd have left by now. They're already outside the doors. Not so easily done. Rook? Hmm. This gets people out, right? To save some lives? Yeah, I think that's what gets people out. If we can hold out, then we have to fight. Plus, he's the one that's seen them all before. Dude, he knows what's up. We gotta trust, trust him. He's our pal. Yeah. Deep sigh and heavy breath. He looks years older. I imagine just fighting back and saving the town, but... <sighs> nonsense. Ivor's right, of course. We can't just wait to be slaughtered. Where do we go? If Dredge are coming down from the north... Frostville, to the west. It's closer and it has walls. I intend to be free of Skoger in one push. Nobody left behind. I wouldn't. If they follow us, we're done. What do you suggest? Let me create a distraction, then go. I'll catch up to the up on the road to Frostfeller. <laughs> that sounds like suicide. I mean, I'll help with the distraction. What if we set the town on fire? Do we abandon the storehouses? All our val valid concerns. We're not gonna set the town on fire. No. We're not gonna abandon the storehouse. That's, yeah, that's the distraction that doesn't force us to fight. So, if we don't set the town on fire, then we have to be distractions. I think I agree with the chieftain. This one? Yeah. Should we do that? I think so. Alright. Uh-oh. I think we'd be Half the town is going to die like this. That's why I want you to lead, Ivor. I know you can get us out of here. I'll do what I can. Then I'm coming with you. That catches you by surprise. The chieftain rubs his chin but doesn't argue. From the training she's given a lot, you've no doubt she can handle a bow. Yeah. yeah. Fine, I'll get the townspeople ready. When you're ready, we'll make our move. Alright, we'll see how this goes without... So pretty much... The dredge are just coming down out of everywhere. There's nowhere left for people to run, and so it's a matter of just trying to get as much, as many supplies as you possibly can before you have to abandon your home. Jesus. Oh, God. Run, <laughs> roars Ivor. Terror sweeps over the caravan like a pox. You suddenly found you find yourself surrounded by black figures and panic townspeople in equal measure. Get ready. Um... Oh yeah, we got Odd Leaf now. Um, sweet. I like leaving Odd Leaf last because, well, 
She sets traps. I was just that's what I was just thinking. Her her ability is really Sweet. really solid. So do you want to set her up first so we can kind of lay the traps there and then try and see? Yeah. And then put Yeah, leave I bird there. I actually good. think the rest of that is probably fine. Yeah, I agree. I think that looks good. Okay. I still think we have her uh, I'll leave further in the back, though. Yeah, yeah. I keep leaning forward. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I love this game. All right. So we got this guy over here, these guys over here, and our party is separated in two. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, so now we have to predict whether they're going to go this way or this way with her traps. And you said you, we should move her back a little bit. I would even move her back one more and then move Rook and Eagle. Let's, yeah, let's have them in, like, two front corners. I'm worried about that dude right there. Do you want to move him back? Yeah. Like perfect. That. Okay. He's fine. And then a lot I would actually move closer. Yeah. This way. Yep. Yep. All right. All right, so now we have to guess where they're going to go. I mean, he's already facing that direction. Yes. Should we put one over here? I think so. Maybe like right in front of him? Perfect. Wow, so close. Just, Just rush him. Yeah. If you rush him and knock him back, I think that... Oh yeah, that might affect. Would deal some damage. Yep. Oh yeah. I didn't see how much it did. This is off screen. Can you click on him? These guys over here. I don't know if it did anything. Oh, it did some shield damage. That's good. I don't know if it did anything. It doesn't matter. Um, if you do that and then put up the battering ram, I think it might force him to go through it. Stonewall? Yep. What did I say? Battering ram? Yeah. Cool. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, I don't know if that will trigger the trap. Oh man. I want to rejoin them because. Yep. Yep. Seven. Oh wow. Okay. Alright, dude. Whatever. Alright, I think we should try to join our groups a little I bit. I think so. She can't... Hmm. Only from there. Unless, can you go to that one yellow spot? Not there, but the other one? This one? This uh, one? yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I remember her not being a very heavy hitter, but like, having the cool ability. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> I would just do straight up, like, I think if you do the knockback again, I think it'll just push guy, all of them back. Or on this. Oh, yeah. It'll affect all of them, I think. Oh, no, just one of them. I mean, who's next in turn? That guy. So we don't want to hit him, he'll just run back. Um, maybe this guy? Because he's still far down the line. In the sequence. That sounds good. A lot of deflects in this mm -hmm. match. I think if you go there, you'll be able to kill him. Unless you, you or you could do two. Mark of Prey. I already moved. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it'll almost get him down. Not quite. Not close. Nice. Hmm. Should just do him. I think so. We have four. Yep. Yeah, her attacks do do more damage than odd leaves. Oh my god, leave him alone! No! Oh. <laughs> there we go. I'm so 
some armor damage. Pink. Ping, ping. I just want him to like, can I move him? But then he'll draw everybody toward her, I guess. Yeah. Oh my god. So much pressure. I guess you're closest. Yep. Should I just go, go for, for it. it? Try. Yeah. You did it. Worth the risk. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Yep. Run him on up. Nope. That's not what we wanted to do. No. Halfway. Nice. See, and that's why I think. I don't know if that's what their point is, but what they're illustrating is that, hey, guess what? You need to deal with their armor because he's just deflecting every single one of their attacks. Yep. Because his armor's still full. Bye. Oh, Rook And we can promote good. Rook. Yeah. I would love to be able to promote Ivor if he could just, like, get one gosh darn killing blow down. That'd be great. Just gonna we gotta him set out. him up for that. Well, we might be able to. Uh oh. This, this guy's oh, good. that was. Rude. Retreat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just make yeah. it a yeah. So it'll be a lot easier to deal damage. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. This will do the most shield break. Yeah. Super really low now. Yeah, I think they're just oh gonna be able to God. kill him now. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, man. Oh, we could have done double. the mark of prey to see if it could have killed him, but that's okay. Do you want to give a lucky kill? kill him. Yep. Take it. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, well. whatever. Aw, oh, man, we still totally won. Yeah. Whatever, man. None of our guys fell this time. No, that is true. And Ivor was down already, remember, because of the um, That's the last right. battle. I was wondering why he was kind of. It's because he has minus three strength. Uh, some of the town's guard struggling desperately with the dredge, and what might be the chieftain amongst them? Oh no. <sighs> to left, Ivor is laying into a large colossus. Behind him, an elderly man scrambles to his feet. Past that, it's clear that most of the townspeople are scattering. If nobody steps in, they can be picked off one by one. Try to keep everyone We gotta together. try to keep everyone together. Got it, you shout, barking orders as you pass people. The guards will have to fend for themselves, or there won't be anyone left to protect. Miraculously, you find yourselves clear of the fighting. Yeah. Ivor emerges from the trees, bloodied but breathing. You swear you almost see a grin on his face. <laughs> Oddleaf is not so lucky. What? She struggles to bear uh. the body of the chieftain in her arms, her face blank. No guards join her. You gather her to the caravan and cover the body with the cloth. The chieftain's death hits you like a punch to the gut. Only at Ivor's insistence does the caravan continue on to Frostville or uh, let's hand clasp tightly around your own. And with that, we'll see you in the archives. See you in the archives. Aw, oh, morale. Morale has become poor! Our chieftain's dead! <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, till next time. Till next time when more people die. <laughs> <laughs>